Hello, my name is Kenton Jones. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk you through a presentation on a small intimate show I designed in 2019, Small Mouth Sounds by Bess Wool. It's a very quiet, intimate play without much dialogue. It takes place in a meditation retreat, so I turned my initial research to Zen homes. I was particularly intrigued with the peace, the calm, the serenity of the green we see through the window here and hoped to incorporate that. The director was very keen on recreating a Zen sand garden. We loved the idea of someone raking patterns into the sand that would then be obliterated by the uh, attendants at this meditation retreat. I was drawn to the sense of isolation, of peace, again, of the two lake images. Also loved the recessed lighting included behind the bench of the image below, which the lighting designer eventually found a way to incorporate. We needed something against a far wall to balance the set. And I love the idea of creating a sense of artificiality in this re meditation retreat. So we created a rock alcove lit from above with recessed lighting that when lit one way could represent the interior of the retreat and for other exterior scenes would be lit more in blue and green. An early Photoshop rendering of what the sandbox might look like if we tried to delineate individual cabins. These were considered a trip hazard and so we jettisoned that idea. The ground plan shows the constraints of the space. Once the audience configuration was figured out, that pretty much determined the layout and the dimensions of the actual playing area. So we have one level up above with folding chairs that would serve as the teaching center. This is where the uh, pupils would sit and listen to their instructor. And you can see I have incorporated the artificiality of the green print on a far window. I'd love to point out these lovely little Amazon.com tabletop fountains that we were able to incorporate as well to get a sense of trickling water for the audience to sort of set the tone. A view showing the rock wall, which took six undergraduates about a week to carve individual stones. Also, you get a good sense of just how low the light grid is here. A section view confirms the light grid is at 11 foot six. For color, I wanted to keep everything in basic earth tones, a few different browns, uh, for variety with the woodwork, and we filled rock troughs with river rock and created a faux slate texture and paint treatment on the floor surrounding the set. Here's a paint sample I created for that effect. The preliminary model had potential, but we made a few revisions. The finished look was very clean lines, you can see the rock wall has been added here. Again, the green on the wall beyond. And the rock wall beautifully lit lavender by James R. Baker. The Japanese lanterns also doubled as seating for the actors, and they would change color according to that character's chakra. Again, the rock wall lit dramatically, took on many different looks. And we can see all six performers here comfortably seated within their individual cabin spaces. I thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to hearing the results of this competition. Bye.